A group of scientists is conducting an experiment, attempting to bring a pig back to life using a special serum and electrical current. Zoe and the new assistant Eva arrived at the institute where the scientific laboratory is located. Zoe explained that they are funded by a secret government organization, so she would need to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Zoe introduced Eva to the other scientists on their team, Nico, Clay, and Frank. Eva will be filming the whole process. Frank is the leader and founder of the Lazarus Project. It all started with Zoe's discovery, which served as the basis for creating the Lazarus Serum. Nico is responsible for the electronics. The computer sends the impulse to activate the serum. The goal of this project is to increase the time window during which a person can be brought back to life without long-term negative consequences. Later, Eva noticed that there was no mobile network here. Clay explained that there's a problem with that in the basement. Nico doesn't hide his attraction to Eva. But Clay doesn't care. Clay is the one who manages the equipment and the entire process. Frank asks Zoe if she regrets hiring Eva. Zoe said it was too late for regrets. Zoe and Frank are not just colleagues but also lovers. The scientists work late in the laboratory. Zoe placed another sample of the serum in the centrifuge and then conducted an analysis to improve the formula. Wearing a pig mask, Nico scared Zoe. They laughed together and then had a snack and chatted. At some point, Nico asked Zoe how she was doing with Frank. Zoe shared that since they got the grant, they decided to postpone their wedding because science is more important. But it's been three years, and their relationship hasn't changed. Nico expressed the idea that the universe might be trying to tell Zoe something. She quickly changed the subject. This night as often happens, Zoe had nightmares related to a house and a fire. Waking up in a cold sweat, she took her cross in her hands. Frank, who was still awake, understood that Zoe had another nightmare. Work on the project is in full swing. The scientists are debating how to improve the serum formula. Clay proposed some idea that Frank found interesting. The scientists decided to immediately test the new serum on a dog that had stage 5 cataracts during its life. As usual, Zoe removed all her jewelry because metal conducts electricity. The first attempt was unsuccessful, as was the second. But at some point, Eva thought she saw the dog move. No one took these words seriously, thinking it was a muscle reflex from stimulation. The scientists thought it was another failure when suddenly the dog woke up. The animal was very disoriented. Finally, the scientists found what they were looking for. However, Zoe noticed something strange. Six minutes after resurrection, the dog's cataracts had completely disappeared. It could be an additional effect of the serum. Frank addressed everyone present, saying to keep this a secret until they are absolutely sure. Later, the scientists celebrated their success by opening a bottle of champagne. Zoe and Frank took the resurrected dog home, but the animal refused to eat and looked lethargic. Frank considered this a normal reaction. It will take some time to restore all neural connections. Zoe is not sure if what they are doing is right. Unlike Frank, she is religious. Frank dispelled her doubts, saying that their discovery could save millions of people, so now is not the time to think about the ethical aspect. During the night, while Zoe was sleeping separately, someone opened the door to her room. It turned out to be the dog. The next time, Zoe and Clay took the dog to the laboratory, but the animal still didn't react to anything. Eva wondered if the dog had seen a light at the end of the tunnel. Frank explained that the light isn't as much of a myth as it's commonly believed. At the moment of demise, the brain releases a large number of neurotransmitters, which is why people have all kinds of hallucinations. But Zoe disagreed with this. She believes that the soul exists and can be explained through science. No energy disappears without a trace, it simply changes form. There has never been agreement on this between Frank and Zoe. An MRI of the dog revealed strong brain activity. Clay warned that this could lead to increased aggressiveness in the animal. As a precaution, the scientists decided to temporarily place the dog in a cage. During a break, while Clay was busy with his work, a strong jolt was suddenly felt. Someone had trashed the lab's kitchen. The dog somehow managed to get out. Clay searched for it throughout the laboratory. At one point, the snarling face of the animal appeared right in front of him, and Clay recoiled in fear. Clay told his colleagues that something was definitely wrong with this dog. Perhaps the serum had somehow affected it. At home, Frank recorded all the stages of the experiment on a dictaphone. It's too early to judge the final result, but one thing is clear, after the serum was administered, the brain is creating new neural connections at an unprecedented rate. The next day, the director of the institute reprimanded Frank for recklessness. 80% of their students are religious, so if the truth comes out, there will be a scandal. The scientists were supposed to research patients in comas, not play God. Therefore, the director intends to shut down the project. Frank realized that someone on the team had ratted them out to their superiors. No outsider knew about the serum experiments. Mr. Wallace and his men invaded the laboratory, confiscating all hard drives from the computers. From now on, 
It's the intellectual property of the grant providing company. Zoe was shocked but couldn't do anything because they had signed a contract. Of course she found it a strange coincidence that shortly after Eva's appearance, the management learned about their experiment. But Frank doesn't believe that Eva betrayed them because she was forbidden to take any materials out of the laboratory. The scientists are thinking about what to do now. The corporation intends to take the patent for themselves, which means according to Frank, they must repeat the experiment, or no one will believe they achieved this. Mr. Wallace took all the serum samples from the laboratory, but Zoe has a stockpile. The key cards have been taken from everyone except Eva, so they should have no trouble getting into the lab. Under the pretense of overtime, Eva passed by the guard without any issues and let the others in. Nico connected to the security system and disabled the surveillance cameras in the laboratory. The new test subject was also a dog. After preparing the equipment and the serum, the scientists began the experiment. Zoe pulled the lever as usual, and at that moment, the electricity went out. Frank suspected that the generator had burned out. When the lights partially came back on, everyone saw Zoe on the floor. She had no pulse. Frank immediately realized that she had been electrocuted. Frank, Nico and Clay desperately tried to resuscitate Zoe, but she wasn't breathing. Eva in horror could barely contain her emotions. Everyone already understood that Zoe couldn't be saved. Soon Frank had to give up too. Zoe had forgotten to remove her ring, and that was her fatal mistake. Seeing that Frank was about to administer the serum to Zoe, the others tried to stop him. No one knows what might happen to a person after resurrection. But Frank driven by grief, had already made up his mind. The scientists repeated the experiment. Eva pulled the lever, but neither the first nor the second attempt yielded any results. At that moment, Nico noticed that the security guard was not in his post. Apparently, he was heading straight to the laboratory. Covering Zoe with a sheet, the scientists and Eva hid. Fortunately, the guard didn't notice anything suspicious. Frank went out to check if there was anyone around. When he turned around, he saw that Zoe had awakened. Of course everyone was shocked and refused to believe what they were seeing. Frank pulled back the sheet. Zoe was pale and unresponsive, but at some point she grabbed Frank's hand and asked if she had died. Zoe's physical condition was fine. Eva asked what it was like and if she had seen heaven or hell. But Frank told Eva that it's not the time for such questions. MRI scans showed that Zoe had fully recovered, but her neuron activity was off the charts. Frank believed that this effect would subside once the serum was flushed out of her system. Eva asked Nico what was happening. He explained that normally people use only 10% of their brain at a time, but in Zoe's case, it was off the charts. Frank asked Zoe how she was feeling now. Zoe was still in a detached state. She couldn't believe that she had come back to life. Frank put the same ring and cross on her again. At one point, Zoe recoiled from him because she thought she could read his thoughts. Frank was genuinely frightened when she finished the sentence after him. He tried to act like everything was fine and left on the pretext of checking something. Zoe can not only read thoughts but also move objects with her gaze. She hears how Eva, Clay and Nico think they made a mistake in bringing her back to life because she's no longer the same. Frank on the other hand was trying to figure out how to make things right. He knows that something is wrong with Zoe, but he plans to hide it from her. Zoe still experiences pain when touching water because the electricity remains in her fingers. When Zoe looked into the mirror for a long time, it suddenly cracked by itself. The aggressive dog approached from behind, but Zoe was able to subdue it with the power of her mind. Frank was examining the samples under the microscope when Zoe came to him and said that something was wrong with her. Frank tried to reassure her, but Zoe continued to insist that she was changing. Zoe also confessed that after crossing the threshold of life, she found herself in the burning house from her childhood where she was trapped for many years. Every horrific day there was similar to the previous one. This is hell. Frank gave Zoe a sedative injection to help her sleep. When Zoe fell asleep, Eva covered her with a blanket and began listening to her breathing. The girl had a bad feeling. Suddenly Eva found herself in a smoke-filled corridor. The apartment at the end was locked. People behind the door were desperately trying to get out, but in vain. Turning around, Eva saw a little girl holding something in her hand. At that moment the light went out, and Eva found herself in an entirely white space, tormented by nightmarish visions. Eva woke up on the floor, and everyone rushed to her scream. With tears in her eyes, Eve talked about the burning house and the little girl. Clay demanded an explanation from Frank. Frank explained that when Zoe was little, there was a fire in the house where she lived. Her neighbors couldn't escape. Zoe still has nightmares about it. Everyone except Frank is convinced that the serum is not just a substance but a conduit to another world. However, Frank considered this to be nonsense. Nico believed that they should report this to their superiors since none of them knows what they are dealing with. But Frank doesn't want to lose Zoe a second time. Meanwhile, Clay shared his theory. He believed that the serum could unlock the brain's potential, giving people superpowers. This could lead to unpredictable and terrible consequences. 
That's why evolution happened slowly. In her dream Zoe prays, while Nico discovered an additional account on the computer that was copying and downloading all their materials. Someone has been monitoring them for several months. Soon the superiors will be aware of what happened here, so they need to leave urgently. Everyone started gathering their things, but the dog was missing. Zoe started experiencing nightmares from her past again. Suddenly she floated up into the air, her eyes turned black. Nico was drawn to strange sounds. The light in the lab started flickering. Zoe snuck up behind Nico and said she needed his help. Nico had always found Zoe attractive, but he didn't respond to her kiss. He knew it wasn't Zoe in front of him, but something else. Nico promised that Frank would find a solution, but Zoe said it was already too late. They don't understand what they've done, but they will soon. At that moment the lights went out, and the door closed on its own. Surveillance cameras captured an unknown force pushing Nico into a cabinet, and Zoe approached it. The cabinet began to compress on its own. Soon the others noticed that Nico was missing. Zoe said he went to the bathroom, but Clay didn't believe it. Zoe read Frank's thoughts and realized he was also afraid of her. As Clay was about to call their superiors and tell them everything, the power went out again. Emergency generators never kicked in. The door to the lab automatically closed, and the elevator was blocked. They were trapped. Meanwhile, Eva kept an eye on Zoe, who suddenly said she didn't belong here. Some people achieve greatness, while others simply hold a camera. Clay and Frank returned, trying to figure out how to get out. Eva started screaming that Zoe was the last one who saw Nico. She believed Zoe was somehow involved in his disappearance. Clay demanded that Zoe answer what she did to Nico when suddenly a pen flew into his mouth. Zoe did it with her mind. Just watching, she smiled and winked. Frank tried to remove the foreign object blocking the airway, but he couldn't save Clay in time. Zoe continued to watch it happen with a smile on her face. The lights went out again. Frank and Eva clung together, with the lights constantly flickering. At one point, Zoe was behind them, and then she was in front of them. Objects in the room flew into the air. Frank and Eva woke up in a pile of furniture. Frank retrieved various substances from the refrigerator that could be used against Zoe. Eva was barely holding back hysteria. They found themselves in the lab's morgue. In reality, there shouldn't be a morgue here, it's just an illusion. Frank and Eva rushed to escape. Frank handed Eva a syringe of the solution used to put lab rats to sleep and told her to hide. They had to ensure that Zoe didn't leave the lab at any cost. Frank prepared to confront Zoe face to face. She cried while Frank slowly approached and assured her that everything was okay. But Zoe knew for sure that he had a syringe behind his back. Frank placed the syringe on the floor and told Zoe that she wasn't to blame. It was all his fault. Only together could they deal with this situation. Zoe in tears asked Frank if he still loved her. Frank said yes, but in reality he was only thinking about how to neutralize this entity. Reading Frank's thoughts, Zoe took his life. The lights went out again. Eva was the last one left alive. Zoe injected herself with more of the serum. Now her powers were limitless. Meanwhile, Eva took a few syringes of the poisonous substance and hid them in her boot. Suddenly Eva heard Zoe calling her. Eva realized that hiding was futile and tried to find Zoe. At some point, Eva discreetly retrieved one of the syringes from her boot. A few seconds later, Zoe appeared next to her. They found themselves together in Zoe's nightmare. Eva locked the door and saw little Zoe holding matches. This made Eva realize that it was Zoe who had set the fire and locked the neighbors inside. Adult Zoe broke free and started approaching Eva while she tried to persuade the little girl to open the door and save the neighbors. The girl did just that. A bright white light burst out of the door. In the real world, Eva gave Zoe the injection. Zoe fell with no signs of life. The sirens of fire engines were heard. The next moment, rescue workers rushed into the laboratory. Crying, Eva hugged a man, but then she noticed that Zoe disappeared. In reality, this was all part of the game. There were no rescuers, only Zoe, who had come for Eva's life. In the final scene, we see Zoe using the serum to resurrect Eva, Nico, Frank, and Clay. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss more exciting new products. Also the authors will be pleased if you leave your opinion in the comments.